One of its biggest ever days of finals football. In what's been dubbed Super Saturday, Richmond and Geelong will go head to head at Waverley, while Carlton and North Melbourne will fight it out under lights at the MCG. Andrew Bensley begins our preview. John Northey was already a winner today, named Coach of the Year by the Players Association. But the Tigers boss has his sights on a far bigger trophy if his team can first defeat the Cats. And at the AFL media conference, Northey gained an early break on his rival coach, Gary Ayres. You're late, I hope you're late uh, tomorrow, mate. Both camps selected players despite injury concerns. Richmond's Paul Bullis underwent a fitness test after training last night and has come through in good shape. All we really needed, required from Paul Bullis, was to see how he pulled up today and uh, he's pulled up pretty well. You know... Uh you're on drugs or something, you could just walk on water or, you know, you just float across the ground. I, I was anyhow, and I, I felt very emotional about it myself. As has been the case for most of September, the Tiger Cubs can expect huge crowds for their training sessions this week. It can, however, have its downside. We just follow our same routine and uh, as you can see, and as the, the boys display the spirit that we've got out on the ground, when you've got that spirit, mate, anything's likely to happen. As a coach, Northey has combated Geelong just once in a final. That was a semi back in 89 when his then Demons lost. There was greater success over the Cats as a player though, a premiership in 1967. Northey shots out a kick here. We hadn't won one for 23 years at that stage, so you can imagine what it was like. Despite the class of 95 proving the critics wrong so far, it will take more to convince the punters. The Tigers are still the roughies in the race for the flag. Geelong are the favourites at 13 to 8. Already, Tiger Town is coming alive with a roar not heard since 1982. That was when Richmond met Carlton in the grand final. Depending on Saturday's results, history may yet repeat itself.